Hey guys, how's it going? This is Sassini from Tech, and I made a video on how to edit video like a pro on Android. Now I figured that KineMaster doesn't work on all Android devices. So I am making this part 2 and I am using PowerDirector this time around which should work. Let's get straight into the review. So guys, I can obviously create a new project in Power Director and first I have to import my files to the editor. As you can see it is timeline editing. So the first thing I can do is make a cut and I can also make a jump cut by making another cut and then deleting the file that is between. Now I can obviously add some cool transition effects that are to be honest better than the ones found in Kini Master. Now let's get to the editing tools that we have over here. Obviously we can arrange the video files as we want. We can expand the editor. So the editing tools include the audio configuration obviously you can increase or decrease the audio or mix the audio get we'll be getting to that later and you can increase or decrease the speed of the video and mute it and also you can crop into the video you can also rotate the video 90 degrees or flip it and it will create a mirror image kind of effect you can also duplicate a file and that will add it to the end of the timeline obviously you can go to the media and add photos and you can add videos in the timeline and obviously you can add audio and audio is cuttable and obviously you can manage the audio levels and mix it up and this is how i make the audio go low and then high in start of my videos and you can also add some cool effects now if you accidentally quit it that's no problem since you can start editing from the same point again you have layers the first layer is the image layer and then there are text layers with some cool effects which are really cool to be honest and you have animated stickers that you can add a top of videos and I personally do like them a lot you can also add video layers but they are only supported on selective chipsets and obviously you can export in full HD on all devices that is what I like and you can basically export your masterpiece and call it a day so guys that was how to edit video on Android like a pro part 2 now there are two main reasons to why I made this part too. Now the number one reason is that Kini Master is very processor intensive and it has less features to be honest. And I found this more featureful. In fact I have been using this as my main editor for the past few videos. And the second reason is my subscriber Hans Clans. You should check out his channel it's in French but still you go and subscribe to him. But uh, he basically complained that it wasn't working on his Grand Prime. Now that's because the Grand Prime is a mid-range device. So I figured that this might work for him. This might work for a lot of you which have these mid to low range devices. But yeah guys, that's been it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and I have five.